Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Lawrence behind the camera. I would like for you to uh, join me on another adventure. This time we're going to the Pasadena Southwest Museum. One of these days, I'm gonna come over here and do an audit on this little sheriff station right here on Bellflower. So before we go to the museum, we gotta get some breakfast. Or at yes, Subway. So all right, you guys, let's let's do this. Oh yeah, once again, uh, I'm gonna come over here one of these days and do an audit on this sheriff station. It's a little substation. But uh, I'll come here one of these days soon. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, well, on my way to Pasadena, I decided to do a little bit of a cup watch. Some people right here, they're on. Uh, uh, what the cops are talking to, a couple of dudes right here. You see what's going on? Pretty sure they already put him inside a car though. I didn't see nothing. Excuse me? I can't hear you. I just I just parked right now. Yes. Okay, you're welcome. You too. I think I got here a little bit late. I know they have some two guys. When I passed by, they had two guys in front of the hood. Uh, I don't know where they're at right now. <clears throat> Look a little bit closer. This is my first cup watch that I've done. I'm a little bit uh, shaky right now. First time cup watching. <laughs> All right, caught watching. There's more cops coming. A little bit shaky. My first time caught watching. But I understand.
I'm right here in the city of Bellflower. I'm on my way to uh, Pasadena Southwest Museum. And after that, I'm gonna do an audit at the Rampart Police Department, LAPD, where the older lady, uh, Fairy Potato, was messed with, I guess, arrested. Now they're gonna go through their property. Wonder what happened. I'm pretty sure there's two guys inside the, the car right there. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave this alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Get back in my car and uh, hit the freeway. Once again, my first cop watch. Um, here we go. All right, you guys, uh, I have arrived to the Southwest Museum. Join me to a little adventure. Right there, Southwest Museum. All right, so I guess uh, I gotta walk through this tunnel and then uh, get the elevator all the way up. And yeah, you guys, I did a little uh, cob watch with my first one. It's a little bit shaky. But, uh, it's all right. I didn't stay there too long. But, uh, let's see if I do better on my second one. After this uh, museum adventure, I'm going to do an audit at the Rampart LAPD. See how they are uh, behaving over there. So I guess that's the elevator. Here we go. Okay, hold on. She got the picture. Welcome. All right, let's push this. Don't 
the god of war let me see this is pretty cool an elevator straight to the museum i guess So we're in the museum now. Cool chair. Hey, what's up, man? My name is Lawrence. Uh, what's your name? Joshua. Uh, can you please tell me a little bit about this museum? Yes, the museum is Los Angeles's first museum. We opened in 1914, uh, broke ground around 1908. Uh, Charles Lummis was the driving force behind the museum. Uh, he really wanted there to be a place for Native American artifacts to be on display and people appreciate it. And you would hike up this whole hill just to be able to go up into this museum. Charles Lummis, uh, when you hiked up the hill, kind of considered that walking for knowledge, so you can kind of respect the artifacts a lot more by almost, you know, working for it in a way. Yes. Uh, how important was uh, Lummis around this area? I feel Lummis was very important to this area because I think he, he was kind of that big booster. He kind of wanted people to experience this area. He found a lot of beauty in Highland Park. He, I think, even one time called it a tropical paradise because it was just when he finally got here, it was just so beautiful to him. And he always kind of kept that artist spirit to Highland Park. Right. And, uh, and I still feel to this day, it's a very big artist community, a lot of murals in the area. And I still feel like that's exactly how Lummis would have liked it because he was a big poet and loved to have people at his house and had parties called noises. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like he still would appreciate the kind of people that are in the area and very art driven. Right. So. I noticed that every time I come to, this is Pasadena, right? Uh, Pasadena is a little bit further down. This is Highland Park, Highland Park. and really, being on this mountain is Mount Washington. Mount Washington. Yeah, but right down the street from Figueroa, is, this is like Highland Park. I notice that every time that I come around this area, it's, it feels kind of eerie. Doesn't it have like an eerie feeling? There's have you ever heard of, that before? I feel energy in, in yes. Highland Park. There's a lot of interesting people who moved to Highland Park, and I feel they were somewhat even driven to by the history and the energy that I think Pasadena and Highland Park give off. And I think that's even why maybe even Lemus was drawn to it. Right. And there is also is at the very top of the hill here, uh, there used to be a railway that would go up Avenue 43 and it would go to this hotel. Right. The hotel had went out of business and was purchased um, by a guru who is, uh, it's now a self realization garden. Okay. And it is a, one of the most beautiful gardens at the top of this hill and the best view of downtown LA. Right. But I, I feel like all sorts of people from all different directions kind of like were drawn to this ener energy of like San Gabriel Highland Park. Yeah, so uh, do you feel that, that the feeling sometimes when you come around this area? I do, and yeah. to tell you the truth, it's, it's funny because the more people I read that come out to this area, mm -hmm. the more I sort of believe it. There's a gentleman named Thaddeus Lowe who okay. flew hot air balloons in the Civil War mm -hmm. for Lincoln, and uh, he died in Pasadena, but okay. he spent his last million dollars or so building a railway himself, right. and he ended up dying broke at his daughter's house. But I feel like he was still, the, the story behind that is that he was an interesting guy himself, mm -hmm. and I feel that also JPL is in Pasadena, and uh, uh, um, there's a cool story behind a gentleman named Gard Hall who worked okay. at JPL, and right. just his feelings of like, you know, space and things like that. Right. And I think also why, you know, JPL is there is that it just seems like a, a central location. It's right. almost like Area 51 in a way. Okay. Yeah, there's like a weird draw to this area. Yes, and, and it's still, it looks like it's still like the same, you know, like some parts of the, uh, of the cities, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, it's still like the it's still the same Definitely. to me. You, you can um, the Highland Park Heritage Trust mm -hmm. has, has kept a lot of this area the same. Mm -hmm. So even you've noticed uh, a lot of kind of cool hipster kids are coming okay. through and they're putting a lot of breweries and yeah, you know coffee shops. Yes. Uh, but the one cool thing I'd have to say is since the Highland Park Heritage Trust, they keep the buildings looking the same. So okay. you'll see a building 
same old brick building and it has right. you know jewelry store or bank but it'll be like a coffee shop okay, yeah. because it just has to remain that same building they Is can change the inside and put like a, you know but uh, there's even a place down here that says coldest beer in town because it's mm -hmm. old historic route 66 here okay and there's even a speakeasy in the back that's a sandwich shop okay but you could still go in there there's cool little places here that you right. would never know but mm -hmm. the more you read about this area it was just like a big draw yeah. right so how old is the museum the museum opened 1914. 1914. So yeah, it's uh, over 100 years old. And, yeah. Uh, it's 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 a fantastic place, and that's why I think Charles Lemus saw this space yes. up on the hill here because yes. I think he was even offered other spaces by Huntington, Henry Huntington, mm -hmm. uh, but he just saw potential in this land right here. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the information. Of course. Of course. Okay. I see you. Thank you. Yes. behind the camera on my way to uh, do an audit at the Rampart Police Department see how they're behaving now after they uh, mess around with uh, the older lady uh, fairy potato um, all right then uh, here we go see what happens
Hey, what's going on? Well, I'm just arriving at an infamous Rampart Police Department. I'm gonna go inside and do an audit, ask for a complaint form, see how they react. I know they uh, they messed around with the older lady, um, Fairy Potato. Um, a few months ago let's see what happens when I go in there face full of tattoos see how they react the infamous Rampart Station Excuse me, sir. How do I go about getting a complaint form? Uh, you have to speak to a supervisor. Can I speak to it? Sure. Okay, now let's wait. Excuse me, sir. How do I go about uh, getting a police uh, a complaint a complaint form? Right here, sir. There's uh, accommodation. English, Spanish. Sorry about that. Yes. Okay. So which one is it? They have it in Spanish. Let me get you an English one. Yeah, I'll get, uh, okay. I know how to speak English pretty good. I know. Uh, the English one has run out. Okay. Uh, but there's the Spanish, Spanish is cool. Spanish? Uh, I'll take the Spanish, yeah. There's one in Spanish? Yes. Uh, you need an English one, I'll get you an English one. Can I get one? Yeah, please. Sure. Thank you. Spanish one. Merito al empleado.
taking a long time, huh? I'm right here on the, the infamous city of Los Angeles. Pretty crazy over here. Thank you, sir. As soon as I finish with it, who do, who do I uh, return it to? You return it to me. To you, yeah. um, Sergeant um, Lanis. Lanis. Thank you, sir. All right, no problem. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you guys, uh, was I too nice? I don't know, I mean, he was, he act pretty cool. Um, there was no need for me to uh, react all crazy. Um, There's no need for me to uh, keep on uh, asking questions and questions and questions. All I have to do is just go, prove a point, and uh, here we go, that's it. So uh, that was the same uh, sergeant that um, High Desert uh, talked to or had a conflict with. Uh, so thank you uh, High Desert for uh, taming this guy. So this is it. He was um, pretty cool about it. I'm not gonna talk shit about that man. Um, he didn't disrespect me. I didn't disrespect him. And uh, that's it. Why do you want to do a ceviche at the stars? Fish? The fish? Yeah.